this thing going? I think so. What's going on guys, it's Caleb and today I have an amazing boat detail for you. Now, I did originally film the intro with the owner, Corey. This is him right here. Go check out his channel, it'll be in the description. Awesome guy. And Corey is a fellow YouTuber who is local. I am also a fan of Corey, so I was nervous. There is shaking in the video. Also, I didn't have it in the right format. Now this is the intro. The boat's already been done. Let me show you. This thing is amazingly gorgeous. And without further ado, Let's go ahead and get this detail started. So yes, this is a boat detail, and this boat is probably the most gorgeous bass boat I've ever seen. And we're going to be giving it the nines, honestly. We're going to be doing the trailer, we're going to be doing the boat, we're going to be putting a sealant coating on it. We're also going to be working on the inside of the boat. We're going to seal the seats and clean everything up. But first here, as always, I start with wheels. I'm using my wheel cleaner as well as an iron decontaminant, so that way I can go ahead and get the wheels all pretty and done up. And then we're going to focus on getting the trailer all dialed in.
So one thing that's going to make you stand out more than other details is going the extra mile. This is a good example of going the extra mile. As you can see here, this is his extra tire that's underneath the trailer. I'm going to detail it just like I did every other tire that's on the trailer. And then later on, I'll put the tire shine on it. But this will really stand out. It's something you would not expect from a detailer, but getting this little bit done makes a huge difference in the end. So the steps I took to detail both the boat and the trailer are a little bit different than what you're usually used to seeing me do. I do use a brush, but the way I start out is I use my spray bottle, which actually has the soap in it, the same kind of soap I would use for hand washing. And I spray it onto both the surface of the trailer and the boat, and I use my brush to work it in. It's going to get the first layer of dirt off before I move into hand washing. As for the boat though, I really stuck to using the brush because of what the boat is exposed to. A lot of UV rays, a lot of dirt, a lot of everything. So I really worked the brush for a while to make sure everything gets cleaned off and I spray it down.
last thing I want to talk about concerning the bow is that this paint job was gorgeous. It had little metal particulate flakes that were in the clear coat of it with a black background base paint. It was just gorgeous and I had to use two different brush. One that was really soft for the paintwork and then the gritted parts. I used a same brush but trimmed so it was much shorter, much stiffer bristles. And I went to town on this thing and it ended up looking gorgeous. So we're going to spray it off and you'll, you'll see the difference that it makes. trailer is fully clean. The uh, only thing I haven't done to it yet is put on the sealant as well as the insulator wax. It's going to be the same exact stuff that I put on the boat I'm going to put on the trailer. If you look here, there's the metal particulates inside the trailer paint and little flakes and stuff. It's be gorgeous, gorgeous. I wanted to go ahead and dry it off because we're in the sun. I haven't done the boat yet specifically because of the sun. I don't want it to get a water spot and stuff. Trailers are more forgiving because it's a different kind of paint and clear coat and all that stuff. There's a little bit of marring here as you can see in this clear coat. So yeah, we're gonna wait for the sun to move down a little bit then we're gonna move on to the boat. Now the boat was kind of the same style as the trailer, which I love, you know, it's matching and matching. The boat, well in these shots here, it's actually really dirty, but underneath all that dirt, especially in the black and silver parts, it sparkles, it literally glistens in the sun. What you're seeing here is the first stages of cleaning the boat. I have two stages that I'm looking at doing for this particular boat because the gel coat is so beautiful and there's a lot of dirt on it. So when I hand wash, I don't want to get marring and scratching and swirls in that gel coat. So I'm going to begin with using a very soft, delicate bristle brush as well as in the bottle you see that is my soap, the same soap that's gonna, I'm going to be using for hand washing. I'm going to spray the exterior down, then I'm going to take the bristle brush and activate the soap. You're going to see it foam up and everything. Thing. And what this is doing is getting that first layer of dirt and debris and everything off the surface. That soap adds so much lubricant to the brush that there's no chance of marring or anything like that like it would be with hand washing. It's applying pressure and you don't even realize it. And as for the hand washing part, we're going to be using a microfiber towel as you'll see in the clips coming up. That way it's a really soft application process of putting on the soap. Because boats don't really have a clear coat, they have what's called a gel coat. And it's a little more finicky than what you would usually be used to in an actual vehicle. So we have to be really careful with it and we're going to work with it really softly.
So just to go a little further into my process of washing this, as you can see here, I'm doing the big motor in the back. That's because the way I washed this thing was I started in, like, as I said before, stages. So not only am I using brushing to hand washing, but I'm starting on the right side of the boat, moving to the back side, then moving to the left side of the boat. Be because I'm in Florida, it's hot. You have to do it in sections and dry it off or else it's going to leave watermarks and stuff on the actual paint job. And you don't want that to happen. Drying the boat itself is a little more complicated, at least to me, compared to other vehicles that I'm used to. I'm using a plush double-sided microfiber towel. It's about 350 GSM from the rag company. And the bottle you see in my hand is actually a lubricant spray. The lubricant spray is actually my drying aid in this situation, especially on the boat here. I don't want to mess with the delicate gel coat, so I spray it onto my towel and then I wipe. That way there's some sort of lubricity between the boat's exterior and my towel. I don't want any chances of anything happening. I've explained this in other videos how important it is to have a drying aid whenever you are drying your vehicle or boat whatever the case may be it's always the safest route to go
As I buff off the colonite wax, I just want you to look at the finish that this boat has. It has blown me away with how glossy and beautiful it can look while still being protected. It just blows my mind. We're gonna go through and finish buffing off the wax on the whole boat and then I'll show you a shot of the gloss. It's awesome. Applying the fifth and final coat here of P and S bead maker. If you've watched my previous videos, you know how much I love this stuff. It's a great topper, paint polymer sealant, however you want to do it. I've already put two coatings on the boat, and after we did the Colonite 845, I am now putting on the fifth and final topper of P and S bead maker. What you're also going to see is the trailer. The trailer's paint is gorgeous. I harped on it earlier. It really is a beautiful paint job, and we have to protect it and make it glossy as well. So we are. We're going to put on Turtle Wax's Seal and Shine paint sealant spray, and then we're going to buff it in we're going to top it with pns bead maker as well So finalizing day one of two of this boat detail here, it, it turned out amazing. I can't describe how happy and proud I am. The boat exterior, gorgeous. The trailer, paint, gorgeous. And even here, I'm putting a sealant on the motor just to add to that extra bit of gloss. Now for day one, a complete success. We're going to move on to day two here. I know it's getting quite long, but stick with it because this boat turned out to be one of the most gorgeous boats I have ever laid eyes on. So, day two of the boat detail. What we're focusing on today is cleaning everything on the inside, I guess you could say. The carpet is going to be cleaned. 
vacuumed, as well as a hydrophobic layer is going to be put on top of it. Same thing with the seats, can be clean, and then we're going to put a nano coating on top. And every bit of paint from where the steering wheel is to where the white is actually inside around the seats, all that stuff is going to get a sealant on it, as well as a topper, so everything's glossy and clean. We're also going to be focusing on the interior compartments as well. All the essential ones that are near the actual driver's seat, we're going to focus on cleaning those pretty deep, and then all the ones on the outer sides where the fish go and stuff like that, the carpeted storage spots, we're just going to vacuum out and make sure they're all ready to go.
throughout the vacuuming process, you're going to see me rotate a couple different kinds of bottles through my hands. The first one's the green one. This Meguiar's APC diluted 4 to 1. The next one's going to be a purple one. That is going to be a straight up super clean degreaser. And the next one's going to be the paint seal that I'm going to put on the interior paint. Now remember, we're going to be focusing on the essential compartments for cleaning, deep cleaning, vacuuming, all that. The non-essential ones that are towards the front, more towards the back, those are just going to get a vacuuming and a quick clean. So to finish everything up and to add the last final bit of visual appeal, we're going to put a hand metal polish on the rear rotor here that's on the motor. It makes it really shiny, really pretty for whenever you're driving on the road, but when it's also in the water, it protects it. Water's the main corrosive on it, so you have to protect it somehow. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and put the tire shine on it as well as UV protect every single piece of plastic that's on the boat and trailer. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave it a like. If you feel like subscribing, go ahead and subscribe if you like this sort of content. Also, in the comments, let me know if you like this length of video. I usually do 13 to 15 minute long videos. This one was different though. I showed every single aspect. So, if you like that, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.
just got off work. Oh, yeah. You like it? Oh, lovely, dude. Man, this thing was crazy fun to do. Yeah? Yeah. yeah.